It's been a year in which everyone has had to dig deep to achieve success. I've never been more proud of any organisation that I've served or any group of students or colleagues that I've had the privilege to work with. Our entire community has come together as one Cardiff Met. Staff and students have given their all in the most challenging of times and they tell me they're immensely proud to work for and not simply at Cardiff Met. All the measures that have been put in place were essentially to make sure that the staff experience is prioritised, the student experience is prioritised and everything else falls into place other than the other way around where we're focusing on our retention targets, we meet our NSS targets. Right from the very start our university said that nobody absolutely nobody, irrelevant of who they were, what contract they were on, would suffer because of it. We said we'd pay 100% of all wages, we said that we'd pay all our suppliers. I'm very, very grateful for Cardiff Met for supporting me through this period financially, but also um, giving me opportunities during the process to meet more people, have more training have the flexibility to work from home. So many, many ways supported me through the pandemic. Lots of people are struggling with childcare, children being off school, very young children being at home as well, and I was one of those people. And so to have the university be really obvious and forthcoming in us being able to work when we could and do what we could when we could was really positive. And I could concentrate on raising my child in a pandemic, essentially. <laughs> The university was always with us, 
in terms of any help. University took care of everything, literally, uh, mental health, well-being, everything. It wasn't that bad, bad experience than we actually thought in the beginning, so our university uh, took all the responsibility. There's a human element to it that I think is lots of people don't realise that there is in higher education. That's definitely come through over the last year. I couldn't think of a better employer. Uh, they've invested in me, they value us and we feel part of, of the growth. Cardiff Met belongs to the staff, really, and we couldn't be prouder. One Cardiff Met is what really summarises my experiences. Uh, we were all in this together, we all supported each other. I'd say that we as a staff feel respected um, and trusted and I think for your own well-being at work and being able to switch off and feel like you've done a good job at the end of the day, that's really important. I think it made people realise clearly that Cardiff Met cared, that Cardiff Met was looking after them. The Cardiff Met said, do what you can do during this time. Your health and well-being came first and that's vital. I think I entered the building the first time I felt like a bird in the cage with the broken wings, broken heart and, and a terrible mess in my head because of everything that was happening. I left the university as a bird that can fly. You think it's a very simple thing to dream what is there. But until that ability to dream is taken from you, you don't, you can't understand the meaning of that. That when you wake up and you don't think that I just want this weekend or next weekend or next year in future, I want this. Even if it doesn't happen, but you still dream. But when I came to Cardiff Met, I couldn't dream. And when I left Cardiff Met, I can't say I left it, to be honest. <laughs> when I stopped visiting Cardiff Met every week, I, I think I start, I, I got that my ability to dream again.
closed. Ceremony now open. Please all be seated. Boreda, good morning. We, the university, promised in June 2020 that we, when we could, we would come together at a traditional graduation ceremony to mark the amazing achievements of the class of 2021. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to welcome you to Cardiff Metropolitan University graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021, you've made it. Before we do, just a couple of housekeeping points. Let's show our appreciation of all our students by applauding and cheering as the graduands process across the stage. Can you please make sure that your mobile phone is on silent for the duration of the ceremony? We don't expect any fire alarms today, but should the unexpected happen, the staff of the Wales Millennium Centre will escort you to assembly points. And we would ask that you remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony and the stage party has processed out. We're pleased that our President and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Cara Aitchison, is, will now make the opening address. And you can sit down. You are sitting down. <laughs> Borida, Chair of the Board of Governors, Honorary Doctor, Distinguished Guests, Colleagues, graduands, families and friends. It's our great pleasure to welcome students from across Wales and the wider world here this week for our graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. And we're delighted that after an absence of almost three years, we return to a building that has come to symbolize Wales, our nation's culture, and now our hopes for the future. And this is a ceremonial occasion. It's evolved over the university's 157 year history, but it's also a celebratory occasion. And so I encourage you to show appreciation for your fellow students as they cross the stage by applauding the last as loudly as the first. And you, our graduates from 2021, have waited patiently for this day when you embarked on your student journey as long ago as 2017 or 2018, no one imagined that by the time we arrived at this destination, we'd be coming to the end of a very long and testing global pandemic, and we'd now be witness to a war in Europe. You've had the most challenging of roads to travel, and you should be proud of your efforts, your determination, and your resilience. The routes we take through life are rarely linear. There are detours and deviations along the way, and your journey to this point has perhaps been more challenging than most. But wherever you're from and whatever route you took, you're here now because you've been successful. In most cases, that success will have been supported by the teaching and guidance provided by many of my colleagues here on the platform and by friends and family and others here in the congregation and elsewhere. So let's just take a moment before we process across the stage where we can show our appreciation of you and our congratulations of you and you can perhaps show your appreciation for all those who've helped you on this most difficult of journeys. Congratulations. Thank you. 
And while the coronavirus pandemic has undoubtedly brought the worst of times, it's shown the very best of Cardiff Met students and staff. And you, our students from the School of Education and Social Policy, have demonstrated initiative, selflessness, and great fortitude in the service you've given to the wider community throughout the pandemic. Health and social care staff and students returned to work on the front line. From this school, Megan Jenkins became a COVID-19 tester. Keris Chidgey cared for individuals with learning difficulties. Violet Thomas and Susie Barr moved to frontline nursing. Chella Rowles moved to infection protection. And Beth Johnson worked in a lockdown children's home during the COVID outbreak. From our social work programme, Claire Ball worked as a volunteer for Umbrella Cymru. Gabrielle Davis worked in a residential care home for vulnerable older adults. Chloe James started working in a child protection team the day after the first lockdown. PGCE students supported parents with homeschooling and primary education studies students collaborated with sport broadcast students to deliver live yoga sessions to primary schools all across Wales. Scientists and product designers created, manufactured, and donated PPE and sophisticated testing equipment, including 3D printed visors and face masks that were approved for NHS use. And our biomedical science staff remained at work to pioneer innovative research into antibody testing. Sports staff and teacher education students kept our community active with online wellbeing programs. And on our campuses that never fully closed during lockdown, estate staff helped us host Wales National Blood Donor Centre and a COVID testing centre, thus reducing the number of hospital visitors. And our commercial services staff managed accommodation and catering on campus for frontline workers, international and care leaver students for whom Cardiff Met remained home throughout the various lockdowns. And life went on while you remained students. The Wales, Cymru, Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic Education Network Hub was established in summer 2020. Led by Sue Davis and Chantelle Houghton, the Wales Hub is one of 11 in the UK initiated in response to the urgent need for the teaching profession to better reflect the diversity of the communities that we seek to serve. Education staff teamed up with environment and estates colleagues to develop a program called Campus Rangers to facilitate outdoor education for local children who'd missed out during lockdown. Housing students undertook research for the Chartered Institute of Housing Cymru into community solutions to empty homes in Wales, with Welsh Government now acting on the findings and recommendations. And Dr Rhiannon Packer developed a programme of PhD research to support the diagnostic assessment of dyslexia in Welsh speakers aged 12 to 16 years. Alana Elmes, Miriam Duty, Dee Dickens and Sam Skelton from the BA English and Creative Writing Program formed the 2020-21 Cardiff Met Slam Team for Poetry and won UK Uni Slam, becoming the first Welsh team and the first modern university team to become Uni Slam Grand Champions in the UK. Your cohort, the class of 2021, marks the second year of the newly EWC accredited Initial Teacher Education Programme in Wales. And the Cardiff Partnership for ITE was ranked the top provider in Wales as both the largest recruiter and with the best student outcomes for gaining qualified teacher status. And while you've been away pursuing your careers, my colleagues and students across your university have continued to be busy and successful too. Your university has grown, it's diversified, 
and it's improved significantly with this success evidenced in all league table positions and most recently through the awards of the Times and the Sunday Times Welsh University of the Year 2021 and most recently the Times Higher Education UK and Ireland University of the Year 2021. Our School of Technologies launched in 2018 now has over 1,000 students in new accommodation on the Llandaff campus. Our interdisciplinary global academies launched in 2020 are delivering cutting edge research and innovation in health and human performance, human centered design and food science, safety and security. And our new master plan for our estate will see investment of over 80 million pounds to remodel Kincoid campus and improve the Llandaff campus and the Plasgwyn residencies, ensuring our whole university achieves net zero at the earliest opportunity. Our civic mission here in Cardiff has seen over 6,000 children a year benefit from the opportunity of experiencing sport, physical activity and well-being activities delivered by our students, many of you, on campus. Our international work now delivers Cardiff Met degrees to over 10,000 students in 17 partner colleges in 15 countries around the world. As a designated University of Sanctuary, hosting academics and students who've been displaced by conflict and war, we'll continue to support those from Afghanistan, Ukraine and other countries. We've just welcomed our first Council for At-Risk Academics Fellow to the University, a woman who, until August last year, was a lecturer in Afghanistan. And last month, we launched a £400,000 programme of support for academics and students displaced by the war in Ukraine. Next month, we'll host, for the first time in three years, our annual degree show for art and design on campus. We've gained an experience over the last two years by hosting this show online. And this year, we'll use that experience to extend our support to our partner institution in Ukraine, Lviv National Academy of Art, by hosting their annual degree show online for them. This week, over 5,000 students from the class of 2021 and from well over 100 countries will graduate with degrees from Cardiff Metropolitan University. And I'd like to read that long list of countries, but let me just say, it starts with Afghanistan, it ends with Zimbabwe, it includes Ukraine and Russia. And together, all of our students and graduates seek to make a difference to peace, prosperity, and social justice in Wales, the UK, and around the world. And education and research is our soft power around the globe. It's our response to the world events that have taken place over the last few years, the global pandemic and now military aggression in Ukraine. Education is our catalyst for economic prosperity, social mobility and cultural cohesion in Wales, the wider UK and the wider world. And you've already embarked on your graduate journeys and I ask that you continue to be our catalyst for change, that you celebrate our university's values of creativity, diversity, freedom and innovation. And you live our behaviours of leadership, trust, courage and accountability. And your university's motto is the most valuable possession is knowledge. And as graduates, you now have this valuable possession. As you make your way in the world as the change makers and peace builders in your communities and around the globe, your journeys will no doubt continue to encounter challenges and deviations along the way. But I suggest that you remember that you are part of 
the class of 2021, the class that overcame some of the biggest challenges that many of us have seen in our lifetimes. You have the knowledge, the skills and the experience to achieve your ambitions and to support others who follow now in your footsteps. And I mentioned that we've established a fund to support those displaced by war in Ukraine. And we also seek to support our twin university, the National Academy of Arts in Lviv. If you're able, as alumni of Cardiff Met, to help us increase this fund, then you'll be helping to throw down the ladder for those that come after you. Cardiff Met will continue always to be here to support you. And we hope that you'll retain your links with your university so that we can continue to build and strengthen our partnership. My colleagues and I are extremely proud of every single one of you. Please be proud of yourself and all that you have achieved and enjoy this great long awaited day of ceremony and celebration. Diolchen Varion, thank you. call upon Julia Longville, the Dean of the School of Education and Social Policy. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the students who have been awarded within the Cardiff School of Education and Social Policy. Meryl Hopwood will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Creative Writing and Media. Miriam Jilty. To receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Drama and Creative Writing, Amy Watkins. <laughs> Zoe Coral. <laughs> Ross Jeremiah. Catherine Lewis. <laughs> to receive the award for Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Drama and Media, Christopher Douglas. <laughs> to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in English and Creative Writing, Alana Elms. Abigail Erickson. Applause 
Crystal Evans. Lucy Hogben, Emily Layden, Katie Ann Morgan Budding, Tia Nicole Pennells, Ruth Plumley. Courtney Spillane, Anna Simmons, to receive the award for Bachelor of Arts, Drama and Media, Thomas Daniel John Goodson Coughlin. To receive the award of Bachelor of Arts, English and Drama, Ella Courtman. <laughs> Leonie Locke. <laughs> Bethan Sturley. <laughs> Megan Warmisham. To receive the award for Bachelor of Arts with Honours in English and Media, Sophie Dranfield. <laughs> Charlotte Hawke. Grace Littler. To receive the award for Bachelor of Arts, oh, uh, for MA Creative Writing, Mark Kanan. <laughs> Dan Mitchell. <laughs> to receive the award for Master of Arts in English Literature, Kalfa Al Azri. Pooja Joshi. Hera Sadiq. To receive the award of Master of Arts, Literature and Creative Writing, Rowan Hafana. <laughs> to receive the award of Master of Arts in Specialist Journalism, Kieran Davies. <laughs> Jacob Ainan, Ainan, sorry. <laughs> Casey Reese, Sandra Dumitrescu will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts and Honours with honours in early childhood studies with EYPS. Saba Ali. <laughs> Priyanon Mounty. <laughs> Tony Jade Button. Rebecca Cornish.
Shoned Davis. <laughs> Chloe Dix. <laughs> Hannah Everest. Katrin Lee Greenman. Bethan Griffiths. Fionn Griffiths. Sandeep Kaur. Shannon Hope. Sophie Louise Hollins. <laughs> Keris Ledwood. <laughs> Charlotte Louise Marsh. <laughs> Shona Moore. Ellie Morgan. <laughs> Taya O'Hanlon. <laughs> Hasna Osman. <laughs> Jade Radcliffe. Eve Rees, Syrah Raymond, Katie Riggs, Caitlin Smith, Alam Shaleli. Anika Tasnim. <laughs> Olivia Thomas. <laughs> Leah Marie Veal. <laughs> Charlotte Vernecombe. Shanice Geek. <laughs> the award for Astadiathai Plentindod Kanar Gada, uh, sorry, Dewid Dieviog, Hannah Sarah Daniel. <laughs> Anna Grace D. Bethan Kembry. Thank you. Dr. Emily Abinett will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education, Psychology and Special Educational Needs. Margaret David. <laughs> Rhiannon Dawes. <laughs> Chloe Edwards. <laughs> Jessica Godfrey. Anna Griffiths. <laughs> Keris Groves. <laughs> Lauren.
Sophie Harris. Bethany Nadina Hill. Sophie Heddy. Caitlin Hughes. Danuta Eva Kosmala. Hannah Louise Leslie. Georgina Machel. Emily Morgan. Caddy Meyer Owen. Leah Parkhouse. Ayla Pendra. Emma Jenkins. Ashley Shapland. Caitlin Robin Shearson. Lily May Start. Sophie Taylor. Ella Thomas. Stacey Joanne Thomas. Maya Anne Marie Wilcox. Saren Williams. Meryl Hopwood will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education Studies and Drama. Jade Evans. Sean Fowler. Esther Hay. <laughs> Jessica Shipley. <laughs> to receive the award for Bachelor of Arts with Honours in English Language Teaching and Education Studies, Chloe Adicott. Kara Snowden. <laughs> Dr. Kieran Hodgkin will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Primary Education Studies. Jamila Akhtar. <laughs> Max Brindley. <laughs> Karish Chandler. <laughs> Daniel Craig Chapel. Natasha Davies. <laughs> Leah May Doolan. <laughs> 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 
Amal Galad. Jenna Harris. Callum Hain. Olivia Hector. Monique Heffernan. Chloe Higgins. Stacey Hobbs. Lewis King. Fionn Rhea Huxtable. Shailene Lima. Michelle Lopez de Souza. <laughs> Eloise Jenkins. <laughs> Karis Karen Lyle. <laughs> Laura Masochi. Amy Morris. <laughs> Laura Louise Nye. <laughs> Isabella O'Brien. <laughs> Adrian Pau. Tyler Pigeon. Jade Rendell. Bethan Robbins. Emily Rebecca Rogers. Dylan Henry Scotcher. <laughs> Liberty Smith. <laughs> Amber Ula. <laughs> Maya Seed. Claire Wayan. <laughs> Kira Williams. <laughs> Rebecca Watson. <laughs> to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Primary Education Studies Bilingual Kamraik. Jack Garen Bainon. <laughs> Larry Griffiths. <laughs> Ellie Griffiths. <laughs> Dylan Anwin Harris. Olivia Hitchcock. Shanice Jones. Abigail Daisy Lewis. Hannah Povey. Megan Morris. <laughs> Millie Newman. <laughs> Nicola, Hall. 
Madam Bronwyn Phillips. To receive the award of Pri Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Primary Education Studies, Victoria Dothway. Jill Price will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Youth and Community Work. Kelsey O'Brien. <laughs> Khalifa Alale. <laughs> Rose Lee. <laughs> Samira Newton. Joel B. Barnes. <laughs> Martine Dolbeer. <laughs> Taylor Jeffries. <laughs> Boniface Karaoke. <laughs> Juma Junior Mapakula <laughs> Emma Louise Poiner With excellence in professional practice, youth and community work, Kristen Smart. <laughs> Olivia Williams. So BA Honours, Primary Education Studies, Bilingual, we've got Fionn Owen. Janet Beecham will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Science with Honours in health and social care. Abigail Alice Baker. Um, to award, um, announce the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Health and Social Care, Ale Abdo. Shamaya Ali Ahmed. <laughs> Lowry Axford. <laughs> Sarah Assam. <laughs> Sky Bowman. Loylinda Chu Ling Chen. <laughs> Megan Alice Norman. <laughs> Daisy May Chilcott. <laughs> Megan Clark. Christina Cruz. <laughs> Shawnee Davidge. <laughs> Ch 
Billy Davy. <laughs> Jodie Louise Ellingham. <laughs> Agatha Gonye. Holly Jenkins. <laughs> Tiffany Jones. <laughs> Sada Kaid. <laughs> Chimmy Lama. Hannah Meredith. <laughs> Rita Amosa. <laughs> Lauren Nunnally. <laughs> Alicia Olley. Rebecca Richards. <laughs> Rachel Hart. <laughs> Megan Thomas. <laughs> the Dean's Achievement Award is awarded to Andela Zekaj. The 2021 award, Dean's Award, is presented to Andela Zidkaj in recognition for her outstanding achievements in health and social care. Andela came to the UK as a 10-year-old fleeing conflict in Albania. She joined Cardiff Met in 2018 and immediately engaged with university life made a wide group of friends, supported others, and stepped up to various challenges. For example, she was the year representative during the three years of her undergraduate programme. In the middle of her second year, enforcement officers arrived very early in the morning, and Andela and her family were given an hour to pack all they could carry, and were then escorted to a van and transported to a secure detention centre in Bedfordshire. During the two weeks they were there, the family did not know if they would be allowed to stay in the United Kingdom. Despite this, and with limited access to the internet, Andela continued to be dedicated to her studies and submitted her work and remained in touch with her personal tutor. Since graduating, Andela has received settled status. Andela completed her degree at the same time as supporting her family. Her motivation for doing so was, was that she strongly believed in the research that she was doing, which itself was inspired by some of her own experiences. According to her dissertation supervisor, Andela brought a sensitivity to her work, which reflected her maturity. We are all enormously impressed by your dedication and achievements, Andela. Andela currently is working as a one-to-one -one support worker in a local primary school. Her ambition is to work in the care sector and actively contribute to the workforce within this sector in the UK. Andela, you are an inspiration to us all, and I am delighted to recognise your outstanding achievements with this award. President and Vice-Chancellor, Andela Zikaj.
Janet Beecham will announce the students who have been awarded the Higher National Certificate in Housing Studies. Dawn Elizabeth Bailey. To award the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Housing Studies, Rebecca Gadsby. <laughs> Elizabeth Martin. <laughs> Tia Montgomery. <laughs> Kia Montgomery. Anthony John Morgans. For the Dean's University Experience Award, Emma Parcell. Katie Sharnwood. For the Master of Science in Advanced Practice Housing, Abdi Ahmed. <laughs> Naomi Thomas. Robin Griffiths will announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Social Work. Clay Ball. Yeah. Harriet Bennett. Marina Chapman. Leonie Ruth Cora Riley. Rhiannon Hillstone. Rhiannon Llewellyn. Jessica Peak, <laughs> Emily Peterson, <laughs> Haley Roberts, <laughs> Lauren Santos, <laughs> Lauren Roberts. Louisa Sawyer. <laughs> Olivia Robin Wildblood is the, excuse me, has a BSc Social Work Award for Excellence in the Field of Evidence-Based Informed Social Work Practice. <laughs> Sean Williams. Chair of Governors and Vice-Chancellor, graduates, distinguished guests and colleagues, I have the honour to present to you the award of Honorary Doctorate of the University, 
Kirsty Williams, CBE. Kirsty is a Welsh politician who served as Minister of Education in the Welsh Government from 2016 to 2021. She was born in Taunton to Welsh parents and from the age of three grew up in Carmarthenshire. Kirsty now lives on the family farm just outside Brecon with her husband and three daughters and is an enthusiastic volunteer at Pontefine Young Farmers Club and a local mental health charity. Kirsty was educated at the village primary school in Carmarthenshire and then at St Michael's School in Llanelli. She studied at Manchester University and the University of Missouri before working at Carmarthenshire College um, and for a small business in Cardiff as a marketing executive. Kirsty joined the Welsh, uh, the Welsh Liberal Democrats at the age of 15 and was first elected to the Assembly in May 1999. She went on to represent the constituency of Brecon and Radnorshire for 22 years. She served as leader of the Welsh Liberal Democrats from December 20, 2008 until May 2016. The first woman ever to lead one of the main political parties in Wales. Kirsty was appointed Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, CBE, in the Queen's Birthday Honours 2013 for public and political service. She was made a Fellow of the Royal College of Nurses in 2016, a very rare achievement for someone not a nurse, in recognition of her work to introduce minimum nurse staffing rates in Welsh hospitals, a first again for the UK. Between 2016 and 2021, Kirsty was Minister for Education, leading a national mission of education reform. During her time as Minister of Education, Kirsty made a huge impact on all sectors of education in Wales. She recognised the fact that a nation's prosperity, cohesion and well-being are built on a successful education system. This was her focus as Minister for Education. She was instrumental in rolling out the new curriculum for Wales and for creating greater educational opportunities for all. Kirsty also saw the need for Wales to have inspirational leaders working together and committed to raising standards and re reducing the attainment gap. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she was at the heart of decision-making in Welsh Government. Announcing the closure of schools in March 2020, she said, I think COVID made us all re-evaluate our lives, what's important, what we really value. Kirsty stood down as the Liberal Democrat from Brecon and Radnorshire in 2021. While her passion for politics remains, Kirsty maintains it was the right decision to stand down when she did. She said, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a period of adjustment, but I was very clear that once you had left, you had to leave it behind completely. I had 22 amazing years that's a long time for anybody. It's time to say I did that. I'm proud of what I did, but it's time now to think about doing something else. And Kirsty has actually said today that she may return to university education. We would be delighted to see you. She has since become advisory board chair of Tithe, Wales International Learning Exchange Programme. She is also a commissioner to the Independent Commission on the Constitutional Future of Wales and is Vice Chair of Powys Teaching Health Board. Kirsty, the impact that you have had on education in Wales is both enormous and inspirational. As Minister for Education, you visited Cardiff Metropolitan University on numerous occasions and over the years built up a long and very supportive relationship with the university, its staff, and students. Chair of Governors and Vice-Chancellor, it is my absolute privilege 
to present you Kirsty Williams, CBE, for the award of Honorary Doctorate of Cardiff Metropolitan University. Chair of the Board of Governors, Vice-Chancellor, Deputy and Pro-Vice-Chancellors, Deans of School and all academic staff present here today, to representatives of Student Voice, the Student Union and all graduates, can I say a massive thank you for the honour bestowed upon me uh, today. Uh, after a year of leaving public office, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a little rusty when it comes to speechifying, and you've all sat here a very long time. We heard earlier from the Vice-Chancellor that those who are graduating today have shown the utmost resilience. Not since the Second World War has education been as disrupted as it has been over the last couple of years, and for the class of 2021, that disruption was greater than anyone's. To have succeeded, to have thrived, and to have been able to make it here today is a testament to your hard work, your stamina, and your resilience. And you take with you not just a degree, but the knowledge that you, your families, your future employers and your communities know that you have achieved against very, very difficult odds. Now for me, my graduation from Cardiff Metropolitan University is even longer delayed because in 1994, I too applied to Cardiff Metropolitan University to do a PGCE in secondary history. Now, for reasons too tedious to mention to you this morning, that never happened. But here today, some, what, hey, you know, many, many decades later, I finally can say, even if in an honorary capacity, I too am a graduate of Cardiff Met and I'm proud to do so. Julia's very kind citation mentioned our new curriculum. And throughout the process of introducing our new curriculum in Wales, the first time ever that Welsh teachers and Welsh children will deliver and learn for a curriculum made in Wales, the first time in our history, I was always inspired by a fellow girl from Carmarthenshire, Elizabeth Philip Hughes. Like Cardiff Met, she was in the business of educating educators. And she declared when founding the University of Wales, that education must be national and it must be in our own hands. Well, all of you graduating today have grabbed it with both hands and you have achieved amazing things. It's wrong to have favourites, but I'm so pleased to see our future teachers and our future youth workers here today. My goodness me, it's the most joyous thing that I've witnessed in the last two years. And I'm grateful to be able to share a little bit of your very special day. Congratulations and heartfelt thanks. Diolch. Thank you, Kirsty. Rian Burberry will announce the students who have been awarded the Professional Certificate of Education, Post Compulsory Education and Training. Okay. 
to receive the award of Master of Arts in Education, Oliver Davis. Patricia Omoowu. Amaris Powell. Master of Arts in Education, Leadership and Management, Natalie Jones. Andrew Nichols. <laughs> Master of Arts in Education Community Practice, Peter Williams. Kez James will announce the students who have been awarded the Master of Arts in Education, Youth and Community Work. Master of Arts in Community Education, Youth and Community Work, Philip Jones. Jessica Lloyd. <laughs> Kelly Sturdy. <laughs> Bethan Lowry Thomas. <laughs> Master of Arts in Education, TESOL, Sarah Sylvester. Dr. Louise Allen Walker will announce the students have, who have been awarded the Master of Science, Psychology in Education. Hope Allen. <laughs> Lauren McAlpine. Anne Therese Del Rosario. <laughs> Emily Fremantle. <laughs> Seaned David will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education Primary. Zahira Akbrali. <laughs> Isra Anwar. <laughs> Bethany Baker. <laughs> Keris Box. Laura Brazil. <laughs> Samuel Ekstrom Gap. <laughs> Erica Rose Farley. <laughs> Hannah Fowler. Yayan Gardner. Adam Hawkins. Cameron Ford.
Mia Jane Frost. Thomas William George. Alicia Gibson. Tanya Harvey. Stacey Jean Halton. Chloe Gwen John. Ella Jones. Christian Jones. Danielle Joyce. Katie Lewis. Verity Lunn. Liam Cameron Malkin. Francis Manship. Steve Marshall. Jade Morgan. Emma Louise Peachy. Abby Powell Davis. Eleanor Power. Alison Price. Anna Rea. Annabelle Richards. Emma Elizabeth Roderick. Dana Mandeline Santos. Madison Sargent. <laughs> Susanna May Scowen. <laughs> Hannah Sefton. <laughs> Anna Sheenan. Niel Sheehan. <laughs> Abigail Schott. <laughs> Amy Silver. <laughs> Owen Thomas. <laughs> Claire Louise Tucker. Adele Whelan. <laughs> Lori Williams. <laughs> Spencer Wood. <laughs> Elise Reed. Teilung dod ar gyfer y cwrs tar addysg gyndraf, tis dysgrif addysg gyndraf. Kerry John Jones. <laughs> Gwenllian Elizabeth Medi Davis. <laughs> Yestin Rhys Jones. Laurie Elizabeth Lancaster. <laughs> Kathleen, Lancaster. 
yng Nghariad Mair Llywelyn. Sioned Ann Maskell. Rhian Melhuis. Dion Jade Mott. Maya Rogers. Amy Ride. Eve Oliver will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Art and Design. Fatma Ali. <laughs> Taryn Hillman. <laughs> Eva Lakai. <laughs> Sally Price. <laughs> Brooke Simpson. Sean Westcott. <laughs> Tar Kelf Adiliai. <laughs> Stephen John. <laughs> Donia Jones. <laughs> Chloe Love. Jason Davis will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate of Education, Secondary, Design and Technology. Ben Miller. <laughs> Rebecca Smith. Ta Uchrad Delinio Technolog, Emma George. <laughs> Ellie Howells. <laughs> Gwen Thomas. Dr. Kerry Pugh will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate of Education, Secondary, Physics with Science. Miffy Arnold. <laughs> Dania Cherakudi Matavail. to receive the award of Tar Cemeg Gadegwyddoniaeth, Jack Griffith. To receive the award of Chemistry PGC with Science, Saida Sara Junaid. Dr. Viv John will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate of Education, Secondary Drama.
Bianca Alfieri. Jordan Dan. Lucy May Gooding. Jonathan Holder. To receive the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary English, Hu Mi Yu Akhtar. <laughs> Samina Begum. <laughs> Amy Gibbs. Kieran McCutcheon. <laughs> Katie Joanne Pinwell. <laughs> Megan Vales. <laughs> Anne Williams. To receive the award of Tar Uchrath Seisneg, Theon Woods. <laughs> Jessica Lois Rees. <laughs> Seaned Meyer Evans. Gwenna Evans. <laughs> Rian Crooks Williams will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Geography. Andrew Marsh. Emily Hicks. <laughs> Olivia Ennis. <laughs> Tila Mason. Ysgrif ôl ryfedig mewn addysg deirydiaeth, Iwan Rhys Kriga. Mark Williams will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary History. Nikita Adams. <laughs> Reese John Capener. <laughs> Daniel Owen Jenkins. <laughs> Farron Elaine Smith. Sophie Williams. <laughs> Samantha Wood. Okay. Tar Hades, we have Emily Horan. Rachel Emma Thomas.
Kai Willis. Jason Davis will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary, Information, Communications, Technology and Computing. Carly Herbert. Cameron Stewart will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Mathematics. Verity Louise Tucker. <clears throat> Ta Ukrad Mathematic, Amy Jane Matthews. Kerry Bevan will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary, Modern Foreign Languages. In the autumn term of 2020, our Modern Foreign Languages subject leader, Craig Ellis Howard, passed away very suddenly. The students being awarded their initial teacher education degree today will remember Craig with great fondness. Craig would be very proud of you all. Karen Jade Rhiannon Bello. Yetoid Tramor Modern, Charlotte Jasmine Davis, Dr. Viv John will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Music. To receive the award of Tar Uchrad Kerthoriaith, Caitlin Thomas. Fiona Heath Diffie will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate of Education, Secondary Physical Education. Caitlin Cook. <laughs> Courtney Greenway. Alicia Hitchings. Emma Hobby. Victoria Howells. Sarah Jenkins. Hannah May Jones. <laughs> Emily Jones. <laughs> Fionn Lewis. <laughs> Charlotte Rose Sly. <laughs> 
Daniel Liam Thomas. Ta Ukraf Addis Gafaro, Ivan Jones. Karis Davis. Joanne Fleur McNulty Barrow. Sarah Patterson. Ryan Richards. Owen Clear Williams. Dr Viv John will announce the students who have been awarded the Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Religious Education. David Evans. <laughs> Rhiannon Evans. <laughs> Emily Howell. <laughs> Jessica Louise Jones. Harriet Grace Martin. <laughs> Neve Marie McCarthy. <laughs> Lauren Perry. <laughs> Eleanor May Powell. to receive the award of Tar Addisg Grefyddol, <laughs> Caris Hawkey. <laughs> Dr. Gina Morgan, will announce the students who have been awarded Tastegrif Ol Radedig Mewn Addysg Uchrav. Gemma Carroll. <laughs> Lloyd Macy. Gwen Morgan. <laughs> Theon Williams. <laughs> Professor Gary Beecham will announce the Doctor of Philosophy. Nick's study had its origins in his early career as a primary school teacher, where he could see how technology engaged pupils. As he moved into higher education, he decided to try and find out why this was so. His doctoral study used large, mobile, multi-touch surfaces, which enable collaboration, as several people can control and interact with the information on the same screen simultaneously. Or much more simply, as one of the children in his study put it, it's a giant iPad. Using software and the internet, the children could flick, and I'll demonstrate, flick, the content from their screen in one school, and it would appear as if by magic on the uh, screen on the other school. As one people said, it's a very futuristic way to just send things to people. At the same time, using video software, they could also see and talk to each other to discuss what they were doing and, more importantly, why. 
Nick analysed recordings of groups of children in two primary schools, <clears throat> which were miles apart, working on a collaborative problem-solving task. This task was impossible to solve without collaboration, sharing information between the two schools using the technology, and then being discussed between the groups, both within a school, co-located in the title, and between schools, non-co-located. The study found that multi-touch tables allowed a wide range of meaningful collaborative interactions, which allowed pupils to solve problems together. Nick identified new classifications of group talk, and his study culminated in a new theoretical model. This model identifies different categories of interaction with technology and the roles of technology and talk in collaborative problem solving with technology. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Nick Young. Many congratulations to Dr. Nick Young. Um, can I ask, would all students from Cardiff School of Education and Social Policy please now stand? President and Vice Chancellor, I call upon you to admit these graduates. By the authority vested in me by Cardiff Metropolitan University, I admit you to your various awards as indicated in the programme and to all the privileges of those awards. Congratulations to the outstanding class of 2021. Well done. Congratulations to you all. Can I ask you now to be seated? Many congratulations from all colleagues in the School of Education and Social Policy and all our wider colleagues across the university. Please celebrate with family and friends and enjoy the rest of your day. The university's Chair of Governors, John Taylor, will make the final address. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and sp specifically the graduation class of 2021, on behalf of the university's governing body, and indeed all of the staff of the university Congratulations on your success on what's been a difficult period of time. And it's, it's been said by previous speakers, but uh, wow, what an experience uh, you guys must have had. You're now alumni uh, and ambassadors for Cardiff Metropolitan University. And you'll join our growing population. We've got approaching a quarter of a million uh, graduates uh, all over the globe. You've already started, uh, I guess, a substantial new chapter in your life. But remember, the university is always here to support you. And we want to continue to help you and become a, a success as, as you go through life. We can offer practical advice uh, on employability and careers. We can also offer financial support, you know, if you require progressing to master's programmes or what have you. So please keep in touch. Allow us to continue to help you and let us know about all your successes because if you share your successes in what you've done in your career, we can then share it with the graduates of tomorrow uh, and it's you guys who will, who will inspire them 
not old guys like me. It's uh, someone they can associate with. You've, you've acquired an education and a set of professional skills uh, underpinned, I hope, by our good values that will touch the lives of others in whatever, whatever you do, it, it, as, as carers, teachers, or what have you, but essentially as citizens, just global citizens of the world. And I hope with what you've, what you've learnt, you can use your talents to bring peace and prosperity to the world and bridge, its, sadly, its many divisions which we've still got here. In doing so, you will face uh, massive new challenges. Education's great, uh, as, far as, it, but it's, it's, as far as it goes. It's, it's incomplete, uh, and what you learn as you progress through life uh, is many new skills, but hopefully the education that we've given you from Cardiff Met is a massively good sound foundation on which to build. So, once again, on behalf of the university's governing body and all of the staff at the university, wish you every success for your future as a Cardiff Med graduate. Well done, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, and you, the class of 2021 graduates, we hope that this day has been worth waiting for and that you've all enjoyed this graduation ceremony. Do continue to celebrate throughout the day and have a safe journey home. Please, could you now all stand and remain standing until the platform party has left the auditorium. I call upon the Chair of Governors to formally close this ceremony. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I now declare this congregation formally closed.